DXB. It's in the game! Hey guys, it's me, Ben, back with another of my quick reviews. And as I review this game, I am in the midst of E3 2017. But just because the biggest news event for video gaming is happening, it doesn't mean the game stop coming out. So here I am with a review of NBA Playgrounds on the Xbox One. It's also on PS4, I believe, and probably PC. Uh, and this has been brought to us by EA and Sabre Interactive. And frankly, I'm not surprised a game like this exists, considering EA's constant problems with its sim basketball game, which is NBA Live, and it's basically just never coming out, though it's been announced again at E3 this year. I've already seen the EA press conference for uh, for E3 2017, but I don't want to dwell on that too much. I want to talk about NBA Playgrounds. I'm a big fan of the arcade basketball games. I absolutely adored uh, NBA Jam back on the SNES, and I actually quite like the On Fire edition that came out on Xbox 360 and is now available in backwards compatibility on the Xbox One as well. So, you know, I was like, oh, NBA Playgrounds, I love a good arcade 2 on 2 basketball game, and this is a pretty good arcade two-on-two -two basketball game. Now, uh, as often happens with the smaller outlets like uh, BXB games, we don't always get the games pre-release or maybe even right at release. We sometimes get them a little bit later to look at. And that can work in both for and against the game. And in this case, it definitely works for it because this game has had patches been applied to it since its release. One of the biggest ones was the addition of a shot clock. Now, what I'm talking about there is that when you are dunking the ball in NBA Playgrounds, you have to release the dunk button or the shoot button and time it to be at the peak of the jump. Now, that's actually really hard to do before they introduced this sort of shot clock meter, which you could gauge when to actually release the button. And now that they've brought that in, the game is much more playable and accessible to gamers who aren't really uh, totally versed into the uh, maybe basketball timing systems. It's made it especially difficult because... Um, Playgrounds uses this mechanic where sometimes when you're doing a dunk or a shot, time will slow down, which obviously throws off the timing of when you're meant to release the button. But that's actually been patched and improved greatly. So that's amazing. That's great news. The patch has also brought some improvements to online play, some stability stuff, some just, you know, quality of life stuff. So the game is already better than when it was at release. So because of that, I think, you know, I have to take that into account with the review because I can only review the game as I'm playing it. Though I had played it a little bit prior to the patch and I played it after the patch, but the patch has definitely helped things. Now, the other sort of interesting choice that show uh, Playgrounds makes here is that the way the players are given to, you know, you, your player, by that I mean the members of the different basketball teams. Now, you get to comprise your two-on-two -two team from various all-star basketball players from the past uh, and the present, and you can basically combine them uh, to make your ultimate double act as it were now those players are unlocked as you gain experience by playing the game and then you get card packs that give you random players now these random players can be good they can be bad they can be dupes and dupes will improve the levels of your existing players so that's all works out fine there isn't any microtransactions here in here at the moment and i don't think there will be to be honest this is just a way of encouraging you to play more to get those famous basketballers throughout the from throughout the years to be a part of your team and i think that's fine and that's an interesting choice i guess because the one of the things i found weird was um the way these players were listed, you can't sort them by ability, so you have to sort them by their teams. You have to look through the team menus and find these players. And sometimes you just want a guy who's great at dunks with a guy who's great at three-pointers. So I found the actual menu design and the way these things were laid out wasn't ideal because I would want just to have the best players I had possible. I guess what it is is a fantasy matchup kind of thing. That If you're massively into basketball, you might just want the players you love and remember from the teams you have supported throughout the years. Though that's not the case for me. I just want a min-max, basically. I want the best guys I can have at that moment in my team. And you can't do that very easily in NBA Playgrounds. That's a bit of a shame. I think the presentation of the game's fine. The art style is very hit or miss. You either like that big head bobble head kind of look or you don't. I personally don't mind it. I found the music incredibly, uh, incredibly repetitive. There's this menu track that uh, it just plays every time you load up the game. And I found myself wanting to tear my hair out to the point where I muted the audio. And I also turned off the commentary. The commentary is awful. It's quite offensive in places as well. Quite sexist. Quite sort of homophobic. Um, and, it, and it's just terrible. It's obviously going for a certain kind of humour and appealing to a certain kind of audience, but for me, it just did not work. Turn that off immediately. Uh, all in all, though, I've actually quite enjoyed my time at Playgrounds. I like, like I said, these arcade kind of basketball games, and while it isn't as good as the last NBA Jam, and I do recommend picking them up, you can probably get it quite a bit cheaper than this game as well. This game isn't bad. If you're looking for a little bit of couch fun, of course it's fun to play with your friends, you know, uh, you know, two on two or up to four players where everybody can play as a different player on the screen. 
that's a lot. That's a blast. Online is fine. The netcode is fine. Though I suspect you'll struggle to find other people playing it. The single player offering is again, it's fine. You can just do exhibition matches, or there's a tournament mode, so you can get your experience up and unlock more players using the card packs. Everything is fine. It's just quite unremarkable. The music I said is bad, and the commentary is bad. So on balance, it's a fun basketball game, and I give NBA Playgrounds three out of five stars. XB. It's in the game.